Well, you've made your board, you generated your files. Let's uh, go to some more interesting things you can do with Altium that can be a little more advantageous and help you out efficiency-wise and save you a few dollars when you guys can work together. <clears throat> Let's say I want to make three copies of this board. And then I want to add uh, somebody else's board or maybe three other people's boards. Let's see how to do that. If I come to my project and I have my op amp here, right click like I did in the very beginning, add new to project, a new PCB. I'm going to add a second PCB to my project. Now I'm going to right click this one and say save as. I'm going to name it the same almost. It's going to be called op amp space. I'm going to say PNL for panel and save. I'll do a file save all. So now I have a blank PCB here again. Same thing. My corners here are at one inch by one inch. So toolbar, utility tools, set origin. I'll come down here and zoom in. There's my origin at zero, zero now. And let's see how to do this. Right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add some things here. If I go back to my original PCB and come up here in the corner, I can look at the bottom and say I'm 3.9 inches by 1.65 inches. That's the size of my board. I can also just double click this and it'll tell me here's the ending point, 3.9, 1.65. So I know the size of my board. If I come to my panel here and I tell it place and here's the one we want to use, Embedded Board Array Panelize. I'm going to tell it, yes, that's what I want to do. I'm going to tell it my board is 3900, and this side is 1650. And I'm going to make, let's say, a column of one and three, three rows. Let's see. And the board I want to use, I better make sure I point to the right board. This is the one I want to use. Not the panel, that's where I'm placing it. I want to place it on op amp PCB. That's the one I want. Okay, and I want to have a space between my boards. Let's give it 20 mils. A little bit of space to cut the boards out because it's going to put all these boards on one single PCB. All right, so I can come right over here and place that. I can zoom it in and put it right in the corner. And say, show me what I have. All right, so now you'll see I have three copies of my board on one panel. I can add another one if I want. Let's tell it to do that again. Let's tell it place, embed a board array. Now let's pretend I'm pointing at somebody else's board. I want to add somebody else's board but I just want one of them. I'll tell it OK. Maybe I'll rotate it. And I'll come here Stick it right there. Now, obviously, this is the same board, but what you'll see here is I can point to any any other board I want and add it on here. I just have to remember to keep the dimensions correct. Now, when I'm done with that, I've added boards. Let's tell it keep out layer. We've done this before, right? We're going to make a new keep out layer so we can define our board shape. Place a line. And I'll zoom in here. And we're just going to draw in our keep out. And what I'll do here is I need to make my board either a square or a rectangle. I can't have a cutout 
like this if I want to get the student discount they don't like to do cutouts they want squares or rectangles so let me just look here and see I want my X to come out to X is 5570 so I'll come up here until I hit 5570 I'll zoom out zoom back in I'm going to highlight one of those, zoom out so we can see everything, just highlight one, hit the tab key, they're all selected, I'll say design, board shape, define from selected objects, I've now defined my board shape, so you'll see I now have a panel of four boards, three that I wanted copies of and one that I imported that was somebody else's, right, so you'll see how to make panels, we can add as many as we want, Make sure that when you do this, you leave yourself a way to cut these boards out. Now, we cut them with a big shear. It's like a big paper cutter. If I wanted to cut this out, you see I can't cut straight across here. I'll cut this board. But I've left myself an out, right? I can cut down here first and then cut these two. So make sure when you're stacking your boards, you can leave yourself a way out. After that, it's all the same thing. I do File. Fabrication outputs, Gerber files, whatever layers I used, turn on. And I can do it again with my panel, file, fabrication outputs, NC drill files. You'll see all those holes drilled. We'll do a save all. So now if I look to my outputs again, generated, I have an op amps and I have op amp panel. So there's a panel with a Gerber bottom layer, panel with a Gerber keep out. This will let you make your, your uh, single boards into one panel. Or maybe your final project in design two, you're going to have two or three little boards. You can put them into one panel and then have one panel produced when you ship it out. All right. Well, I hope this helps and thank you and talk to you soon.